I'm now very pleased to introduce today's keynote speaker, United States Senator John Cornyn. Now serving his third term representing Texas in the United States Senate, he has had a distinguished career in public service, including as a district judge, Texas Supreme Court Justice, and State Attorney General. First elected to the U.S. Senate in 2002, he is currently a member of the Judicial Committee and the Senate Finance Committee, which shares jurisdiction over health care legislation. A leader in promoting research and education initiatives at all levels, Senator Cornyn has a deep interest in creating a healthier tomorrow, ranging from how best to combat emerging infectious diseases such as, such as Ebola and Zika, to how technology and innovation will shape our future. We are very proud to welcome U.S. Senator John Cornyn to the podium. Thank you, Dr. Callender, for that uh, very nice introduction, and it's wonderful to be here. If it's true that success has a thousand mothers and fathers and failures and orphans, this is a success. It's pretty clear because you're all here today. A few months ago, I had the daunting task of speaking following Admiral McRaven at, a, at an event uh, <laughs> in Austin. And, uh, you know, I've been a fan of, of the Admiral's when he was uh, still wearing the uniform of the United States military. What an incredible, incredible career he had. And I made the mistake of asking him at this event, I said, well, how did you find your first Texas legislative session? I said, was there any drama associated with it? He quickly said, no, sir. I've seen drama. That's not drama. <laughs> Which really, Put it all in perspective for me. Well, our nation is, uh, is lucky to have men like, uh, like the Admiral and the University of Texas system is, continues to benefit from uh, his great leadership. Today's dedication is another marker of the impressive growth of the University of Texas system and a sign of the lasting impact it's having on the world. A lot's happened since UTMB was founded in 1891 and I'm glad we've recalled some of its storied history. It's grown from one hospital and 23 students to now include six hospitals and 2,500 students and residents. This is not only a sign of strong, of strong sense of purpose, but it also is indicative of the strong support of organizations like the Seeley and Smith Foundation. And it means that the work you're doing here is making a real difference as well. The new Jenny Seeley Hospital epitomizes this. And now UTMB will be able to serve more people than ever with the best technology available. The planning and care that went into this facility is pretty apparent from the views facing the bay to the new state-of-the-art operating facilities. The UT system is already known around the country and indeed around the world as providing some of the very best health care in the United States from the Cancer Center in Houston to the medical discoveries made right here. And this facility proves that there's not any slowdown planned on the horizon. But the minds being taught here and the powerful potential these students have is the greatest source of our hope for the future. The Jenny Seeley Hospital will serve as the primary teaching hospital for the School of Medicine nursing and health professions, which means that not only will UTMB be saving lives in the camp on this campus, it will be teaching students who will be saving lives across the country in the years to come. And the foundation of that education is the important research that's being done here. Research is key to improving the standard of living for all Americans and people who are not Americans around the world especially in places that don't have access to the resources and opportunities that we've been blessed with as Americans. Thankfully, this dedication to research is not new. It started in the schools at the school's beginning. As many of you know, Galveston was known as the Ellis Island of the West for its role in the immigration wave of the 19th century. Between 1865 in 1924, it's estimated that more than 200,000 immigrants came through the port of Galveston to pursue their American dream. 
Unfortunately, though, the boats that carried the future innovators and small business owners in the region also carried an unwanted hitchhiker, a bubonic plague infected rat, maybe more than one rat. Yet this grim dilemma provided UTMB with the opportunity to showcase what it does best, its uh, early medical research. By working with the city of Galveston, the disease was eradicated here and remains only a blip on our history books. Today, the Galveston National Lab has been leading the charge in viral research. And as we've seen over the last few years, this research is perhaps more important now than it has ever been. Last year, UTMB was named one of the first regional Ebola treatment centers. And the researchers here went on to develop an effective and quick-acting Ebola vaccine. And while Zika has only recently become a household word in the United States, UTMB has long been researching that disease right here at the Galveston National Lab. Believe me, Washington, D.C. has been taking notice. Just last week, three UTMB researchers de delivered their findings at a Zika virus workshop organized by the National Academy of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine. So people around the world are looking for answers here in Galveston at UTMB. As many of you know, the Brazilian Ministry of Health recently announced a collaboration with the researchers of UTMB to help develop a Zika virus vaccine. In other words, UTMB is the place people come when they have a problem and they need some answers to answer the most pressing challenges of our day. To those of you who are involved in this important work, thank you for what you're doing and keep up the hard work. Today we celebrate this hospital as another powerful example of how UTMB continues to advance healthcare, not just here in Galveston, not just here in Texas, but around the world. The work being done here will not only save lives, but permanently impact how we address healthcare in the future. So in closing, I just want to uh, say that I find the University of Texas slogan to be especially uh, resonant when it comes to talking about the medical branch here, because what starts here truly does change the world. I'm honored to represent a state that is leading the charge in research for the benefit of all humanity. So I want to thank you, all those of you who made this possible today, particularly the Seeley and Smith Foundation for your longstanding and generous support. But I also want to thank my friends in the Texas uh, legislative delegation, Larry Taylor and others here today for the great work they've done on behalf of Galveston and UTMB in the state of Texas. You make us all proud by your great contribution. This collective su support translates to more lives saved, more doctors trained, and more groundbreaking discoveries made. Today is more than about just a building, it's about the future of medical innovation. With UTMB, the future of healthcare is bright. Thank you for having me, and congratulations on this wonderful success. UTMB Health, working together to work wonders.